so you know what this is my local instance it is running this is my live instance well it looks like it has been logged out but don't worry i'm not going to touch that part and then here i have uh, i can just clear this and use this part okay so let me make this uh, slightly larger i also want to navigate to the directory which has this uh, app here so that we can just leave this running so i'm going to do a sudo su i want to change oops sorry sudo su and then i'm going to do that and this thing is just erp and again i have written something else not sudo this is supposed to be erp next and then i'm supplying the password you can see here before i clear that this is now changed to erp next from karani right and then the next thing i'm going to do is to cd into home and then bench and then which app am i using i'm using cd to github demo that is our app so how do we create a new app here we are just going to do a bench new app all right bench new app we can call this what we can call this said custom okay this is just for the purpose of our demo and then i'm just going to go ahead and click next now what this thing wants is then the some details about our app so i can call this said innovations uh said innovations i can call it that description i can call it said custom code All right publisher i can say it's joffrey karani and the email address is joffrey.com sorry gmail.com nice and then the app icon i can just leave that as default gray is fine license mit and then this is going to go ahead and create the app all right so this app has been created is it installed yet i don't think so so if i do bench version you see here we have seed custom there's an app here actually but i don't think it has been installed in our site so we we can see we have now an app called seed custom which is in version one all right if we go here we can see this one is already complaining that we have been logged out and this one is saying we do not have a module called seed custom right so what we do we are going to go ahead and say bench and then we give the name of our site i don't remember the name of our site so if you don't remember you can just go to sites and check then you can do bench dash dash site then the name of your site is github dot manage and then you install iphone app and then the name of your app what is the name of your app the name of my app is this one so i can just copy that and paste it here and so here we have bench site that install app that all right then click on go and this one is going to go ahead and install it here you can see that our server here has been stopped so you can just go ahead and restart it and you should be able to now reload this page and should work just fine all right this one says i'm not permitted so i'm just going to click on login and then i'm going to go ahead and click on verify and i am logged in all right perfect that is that one logs me in now if i go to help and click on about i see now here that i have an app called state innovations that is in version 0.0.1 .0 and it's pointing to the master branch perfect so now this is how we this is where our work starts we have a new app so go back to the apps directory so apps list you see we have we have next frappe and, and uh, that let me clear this and then i load it for you again we this is our custom app so i want you to cd into said uh the custom app and list it you see how that looks if you do a git status here you see what it says is that there's nothing to be committed here but actually we want the whole of this thing to go into we want the whole of this thing to go into a github repository how do we do that so what we are going to do here is to open let me open github remember we had created a repository so uh actually i think my repository should be we don't have a repository i 
oh we don't have a github repository is it this one yeah this is it yeah github demo yeah this is the repository we created so it was github demo so just go to github and create a new repository if you don't know that you can check my previous video and uh, it's going to show you how to do that so the stages that are here now are what i want us to copy so you don't want to you don't need to do anything more than this just copy the first command there to initialize your github then paste it here click on go you can see this one is talking about reinitializing this github okay repo and then um i don't mind about this but you can just go ahead and add so i know it's, it's just going to complain you add you you have added that and then the next thing is to make the first commit although before you do this commit you need to add the file so let me see first get status whether there is anything okay nothing just click on paste nice says nothing to commit and says that our working tree is clean that's okay then branch m copy that paste it here go that one has been uh, put to the main branch then copy this now this is what is going to put to tell this where to put it in github so this is the repository that github is going to actually use so paste it click on go that has been done and the last commit is to push uh, this uh, your changes online all right so paste and go it's going to require my username because uh, my username is karani hyphen gk i have not set up a few things there so let me check what my github password is here and i paste it and nice you see that one has been pushed online so if i come here now and refresh this i'm expecting that all that code is going to be now on github and like you can see there is my code it says that it has been pushed uh five minutes ago well yeah five minutes ago it is a hundred percent python so everything that we have now on our local instance here everything that we have on on this app the app that is running here this app this app here all these files if you list all these files they are now on github all right this has been pushed to github so the next thing that i want to show you to show you now is how to create a doc type and actually track those changes and push them here in the next series cheers and see you then